Hey, it's Sergey. Welcome back to Java Dabadu, your Java online tutorial. For today, I'll teach you how to use JVDroid. JVDroid is an app for your Android phone in programming Java. So first, you need to download the app from Play Store. You type JVDroid. Alright, but since JVDroid is already installed on my phone, uh, it's already ready for open. So I just open it and then when you open that the screen will look like this and then uh, there are some codes which are already preloaded. The next thing you can do is first change the file name or the class name. Remember the guidelines in uh, naming classes. So the file name and the class name will be first program. Before you proceed, you can immediately save your file and then save it again later. So save as. Now to, fi to find a folder, you just have to look for Java Docs. You can see it here. There you go, Java Docs. Then um, select folder. Then the file name will be here. So Type the file name first, program, then click save. Since there is already a file on my phone that has the same file name, just overwrite. Now, you can now continue coding. I'm supposed to be on line 3. Since this program will just display the word or the words, welcome to Java programming. So, the next thing to do is to type the code system.out.println then parenthesis then double quotes the text should be enclosed in double quotes then type welcome to java programming notice that it moved to the next level but it's still on line 3 so that's welcome to java programming what's good when, when you are using uh, IDE it's already uh, color coded so it's easy to differentiate which part is which all right now when we're done you can look at the lower part lower right corner there's a, a button here that will automatically compile and run your program at the same time now compiling tells you if there's an error just like this there's an error it says here that there's something wrong with um, uh, with line 3 an error semicolon expected all right so it's looking for a semicolon so click that at the end of the line 3 now let's put the semicolon here and try to run and compile it again and still there's an error I intentionally did that for us to see the error checking of the compilation process and then how to correct the errors at the same time now what's the error now it's still on line 3 CTEM does not exist of course it should be system it's a typographical error which I intentionally did for the sake of this lesson so let's correct that go to line 3 and make it system again run there's an error again symbol print l again there's something missing in the print l it should be print line print ln right so click that again and then go still to line three all right hit n and then let's try it again and it worked welcome to java programming so that's how you run your program and that's how you correct errors if there are any errors now you can go back now and don't forget to save again your file just click save all right now that's how you make use of the jv droid it's easy so you can start now making your activity good luck and let's do that java dabadoo